Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so uh, that's 53%, will that take that last 20%? Perfect. Yeah, it's deceptive. Um, I should really let that run down and then see how much one of these packs actually fills it up. I'm sure someone's already done it, but um, I'd like to know. Right, so, um, 8 o'clock. Uh, might as well sleep and sleep through the night. And, um, yeah, I did have a thought in mind. So, obviously, where we're doing really well money-wise, what I was thinking about doing is, um, yeah, making this into uh, a lowered monstrosity. Oh, no, I sold it all, didn't I? <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe on the next update I'll do that. So what I was thinking about doing was slamming it, taking these out, and um, putting the BMW wheels on, um, just to see what happens. Uh, so the BMW must be over there for now. So let's um, sleep through the night. And then we can get down to uh, Mel in the morning and buy some more pops. So there's already 10 down there. Um, and I do need to have a look, see whether our buggies outside to uh, be collected as well. Anyway, I hope you're all doing all right. Hope you're having a good day. Um, this will be coming out on oh Thursday. Ugh. Right. Okay. So let's get straight down there. So there'll be twenty. So I might as well take the trailer. Leo, do you want to come with us, mate? Uh, yeah, sometimes it does that. Sometimes it thinks it's full throttle. But if um, if that happens, so you just tap the throttle and it stops. At least on a G29, anyway. Right. And away we go. I've got a horrible sensation in my left-hand side, so... It comes and goes, so I had a car crash um, a few years ago. Well, someone pulled out in front of me on a roundabout, and I had nowhere to go, so I just hit him. And, um, yeah, I've got some kind of nerve damage. And I've got pins and needles and a horrible sensation in my left hand, so it's actually a little bit difficult. Um, not so much driving, but doing WASDA. The shame. I'm meant to be having a um, scan, one of them uh, scans where they check for nerve damage, but it's been years. It's ridiculous. I had a silly accident mega years ago on a motorbike, and um, that caused some kind of um, spinal damage. I was lucky that I didn't die, though, so there's that. Always look on the bright side, eh? Yeah, so I've got a compensation claim because, uh, yeah, obviously it has affected me. But um, the company I chose is useless. Unfortunately, they took on too many cases and then had to close down their call centre because they couldn't keep up. How ridiculous is that? Oh. Right, so let's get some... More. Okay, let's load it up first and wait till she's open, shall we? I mean, it's not like I was going to drive off without paying, but I think she knows that by now. So, we're going to have, I think, about a thousand pots. Questions would be asked, wouldn't they? I think, by this point. I think she would have said, um, Johnny, what are you doing with all these pops? Because you don't look like a gardener. You don't look green for fingered. And then we'd have to come up with some ridiculous excuse. Right, she's open. Nice. For some reason, this is spinning really slow today. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, right, I'm going to get these bought and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so that's uh, 20 we've got on board now. And, um, yeah, so a while back I said about, um, I can't remember whether it was on this series or Sons of the Forest, but I said about Apex Point being, um, yeah, suggested for something that I'm, uh, uh, something for me to play. And I do really like the look of that game. It looks excellent. But, um, because it's still quite early access and because the game only has three or four vehicles on it at the moment I decided against buying it um, but Scapegoat I think yesterday released episode one of it so he's doing a series on it so um, yeah I did watch some of it so I will have a kind of bit of an insider um, inside knowledge if I decide to um, get it in the future. But it does look like a really good game. Um, one of the other reasons why I didn't get it was um, because I don't think it's got steering wheel support at the moment and I'm really, really terrible driving WASD. Yeah, I'm really not good at it at all, so it wouldn't be um, enjoyable for me. Almost. There was another game that was suggested as well, but I can't remember what that was. Oh, I've spoken about that as well. Contraband Simulator. So, um, again, Scapegoat's um, playing that. It is a really good game. No, Contraband Police, sorry. But I just don't feel like I'm entertaining enough to uh, do a series on that. Right. Okay, out you jump, Leo. Right, so I'll pop these down. I'll do a couple. No, I'll do them all off camera. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so we've got 56 more pots to go. Um... Yeah, so not too much, really, if you think about it. We've come a long way. Right, let's have some maple syrup. And... Um, don't really need poutine. Right, so what should we do now? What should we do, Leo? We didn't check out whether the um, buggy was down there, did we? Um... What a fool. Just trying to think. Yeah, there's no option, is there? Right, I'm going to call Martin. And... Now, what I'm going to do... Is... Make a big pack. I should probably... Have a couple of them just laying about, shouldn't I? But I'll make a big pack, pop it out here. And then call Martin. Oh, I did think of something else I wanted to try as well. That we can do while we're down there. Um. Oh, I... <laughs> yes. Yes. Corded telephones. Hello, mate. Cheers. I appreciate that. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, this is such a mess in here, isn't it? Stuff all over the place. That needs to go to a scrapyard. So do these, really. And that. No use for it. Right, Leo, we've got to um, quickly go and try and get the buggy back. Hopefully it's down there by now. So you're going to be all right here. I think you will be, won't you? But yeah, we won't be long, mate. Yeah, so if the buggy's there, I then need to um, 
get another can and I want to try something else. Right, come on, Martin. People are waiting, mate. Right, I'm going to pause it. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here he is. So we'll try and sell him one of these. <laughs> okay, just a small pack. That's fine. Hello, mate. How's it going? You alright? Oh, I keep meaning to try and de-rust your wheels. I don't mind doing it. I don't mind doing it at all. Oh. Thank you. So in this kind of situation, I talk about my girlfriend a lot. So have you got a girlfriend as well, Martin? Yeah, blokes, there's this kind of unwritten rule for some reason that blokes can't compliment each other without being a bit, you know, and uh, it's ridiculous. So we can compliment each other's cars or things like that, but yeah, I don't know, it, it's probably just why I'm old fashioned. But it just seems weird when you get a compliment like Martin just gave us. Especially kind of, yeah, just in a car, the two of you. <laughs> Come on, music. I don't want to talk to him at the moment. Seeing as we know where he lives now. Perfect. Cheers for this, mate. Oh, you dropped your um, stuff on the floor. That's all right. Right. Cheers, mate. Um, Yeah, let's see if we can fix these up for him. So where's the petrol station? It's over here, isn't it? Am I lost? No, there's a church. It is over here. There's that mystery building. I wonder what it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Right. Please let our buggy be outside. I went completely the wrong way, didn't I? Don't tell anyone. Excellent. Cheers, gents. You all right? Good. Right. I'm really busy today, gents. Sorry about this. Right. Have a good one. See you later. Okay. Let's take one of these down to Martin's. I doubt this will work, but it's a nice gesture, isn't it? I'm lost already, aren't I? There it is. Right. So I very much doubt this will work, but why not give it a try anyway? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay. There you go, mate. Actually, let's not leave it there. Perfect. Got a dent in it as well. Right, so next off, I need to go to the Federation. Because I've got a plan. And when Jolly's got a plan, it usually ends badly.
Okay. Right, this is going to be a bit... Um, weird looking, but it's only for a moment, so bear with. Right. So what I was think... Oh, don't be a pain. Actually, I wonder if I can just... Perfect. Right. Hello? I'm sure I managed to get in here before. What did I do? That's it. Right. So, if I put this here, does that mean that when he drives past our house in the morning, one of these beeps will be delivered right outside our door? I don't know. I've no idea, but without trying stuff like this, you just never know, do you? So, let's pop it like that. Because obviously, it's only there. Right. Okay, so that's one thing off the list. What was the other thing I was going to do? Already bought the pots, haven't we? I think this is alright for fuel. Yeah. Just double check, just in case. Yeah, we have. Right. I'm really smirking by the way, I love this thing. Truly, it's excellent. Okay. And uh, let's pop it in the garage nicely. Well, as nice as I can do it. Right, so the beamer is still to come as well. So, this can just live here for now. Um, did I need to do anything else? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So, I'll turn the engine off. Right. Uh, Leo, where are you, mate? Leo, there he is. Right, let's see what this is at uh, 84%. Right, so that's 90%. 100%. Right, 60%. Okay, well, there you go. So 10% is 40% of one of them bags. Nice. Okay, we could do with bringing some more of that down. So I'll do that. Yeah, so the bus um, goes past at particular times every single day, depending on traffic. So if you had loads and loads of cans up there, possibly every morning, well, every evening, you could go and load them up onto the bus and then you could bring pots back in the bed of the truck. And then, um, yeah, the next morning at seven o'clock, Rod, um, Richard, sorry, leaves his um, parking space and drives past the house. So, yeah, that could be a bit of a lifesaver, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be really, really good. What was in the boot of that? 
pretty sure I left something in the boot of the Beamer. Can't remember what though. Anyway, um, so that does bring us to the end of this episode. So thanks for watching everyone. Really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join. Come on. Us in the next one. <laughs> Cheers everyone and bye for now.